Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate this look. I'm very, very happy the way it came out and I'm super excited to share all the products with you guys. So if you're interested in getting this look, then just keep watching. So today I'm going to be using my Morphe 35K palette, which I ordered on Black Friday. And you guys know that I've been loving these Morphe palettes, so... This is another one. This is more cool tone browns, some warm. So I think I'm going to start off with this color here with a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to start off with a Morphe G17 brush right here on the outer corner. So I'm going to start off right here on the outer corner and then I'm slowly going to buff it into the crease. And then I'm going to do windshield wiper motions just back and forth, back and forth. And you want to bring it all the way in to the inner tear duct. Just going to go in with a little bit more. I want it to be a little bit more intense. And then I'm just going to kind of do little circular motions to really buff that out. Make it smooth. Now I'm going to go in with this color from the palette and now I'm using a Sigma E25 brush for this. Same thing, I'm just going to kind of touch the outer part of my eye. Really get most of that color off in this area and then I'm going to drag it into the crease. And then you can go back with your blending brush to really soften it out. I'm just going right on top of what I just put on. And I am buffing it out. If your hand is hurting, you're doing it right. Just to let you know. Usually I do this outer V. I kind of darken that up. But today I'm just doing the crease only. And kind of even extending the crease out a little bit more over here onto the outer lid part. Now I'm going to take this shimmer from the palette and I'm using a MAC brush. I don't know what brush this is because the number scratched off, scratched off 242 I think it is. It's the flat one. And I'm just barely touching it because these are super shimmery. And I'm just going to put that underneath the high point of my brow just for a little bit of light right here in this area and then I'm going to softly kind of mix it into the other eyeshadows I don't want to bring it all the way in here I'm going to stop like right, right about here and then I'm softly going to blend it out so that is pretty much it for the crease area I only used two well actually three eyeshadows from this palette and now I'm going to go in with a ColourPop eyeshadow. These are the Super Shock shadows and this is the color I Heart This. It's a really pretty taupe uh, metallic color. And I'm just going to take it with my finger. And I'm going to press it on the entire lid. And I really get close to the lash line and I really press it in there because I want it to be the most metallic, most shimmery right along the lash line and then kind of slowly blend out towards the crease. If you want it to be a little bit more clean and kind of more like a cut crease, you could go in with that MAC 242 brush. Try to pick up as much product as you can. It's kind of hard to because the formula is a little bit moussey. And then you can kind of start to cut the crease with it. And nothing new here, I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek Gel Liner in Immortal. It's my favorite and I'm going to create my winged eyeliner. I start off at the very end, I create the flick and then I bring it down towards the middle of my eye and then I slowly start to bring it in towards the tear duct. And this is the easy way to do winged eyeliner for myself personally, so that's what I always do. And so this kind of has a sheen to it so I always go over it with the NYC liquid eyeliner to make it super matte and this will also make it a little bit more crisp if you need it to be. 
So while I let my eyeliner dry, I'm going to go ahead and do my face and then I'll be right back. The lashes that I'm going to use today are by House of Lashes and they are in the style Boudoir. And I've already trimmed them. I'm going to use the House of Lashes glue as well. I've already worn these and the last time I wore them they were very uncomfortable so I'm hoping that this time um, they have molded to my eye a little bit so they don't feel as heavy. I'm just curling them so that they're uh, easier to put on. I'm trying to think if I want this look to be a smoky eye or an, kind of just a soft subtle smoky eye. I think I'm going to go with the soft, a soft smoky eye since uh, my last tutorial I did more of a dark smoky eye. So we'll just switch it up a little bit. I'm going to take the same colors that I used in the crease and I'm going to put them on the lower lash line. So the exact same colors and the exact same steps. Taking a Real Techniques shading brush and I'm going to go in with that transition color first. Now I'm going to go in with the even tighter uh, brush. This one is the Smudge Brush by Real Techniques. I always start on the outer corner and then kind of bring it in. Just like we did on the crease area. So start over here and then bring it in. And I'm going back with the larger shading brush to really blend everything together. I'm going to take whatever is left on this brush of that um, I Heart This Super Shock eyeshadow and kind of just press, press it right here into the inner tear ducts. And it's just going to give me a really soft little sparkly glitter right here in this area. Now I'm going to go in with my Pixie Eye Brightener Eyeliner and I'm going to put this in the waterline. Now I'm just going to put some mascara on the lower lashes and then we're done. So that's it for the eyes and now we can move on to the rest of the face. I already put on some bronzer. I used my Hoola bronzer and now I'm just going to put on some blush. For blush I'm going to use Spellbound by Makeup Geek which is a pretty dusty pink. I'm going to put that on the backs of my cheeks. For highlight, I'm sticking with the Natural Contour Kit by Pixie because this highlight is just so intense and it's so pretty. So I'm just going to stick with that for right now. I ordered some cold... I hope... <laughs> I ordered some ColourPop highlights because um, I want to try something different give little champagne pop a rest she's a hard working lady and for lips I had to do it I'm using midi again from ColourPop because it's just gonna look so good with this look and I just love this color so much I can't stop using it So I just added a little bit of MAC Myth to kind of make it more nude. And the finishing touch is my Pixie by Petra Makeup Fixing Mist. It's so close you guys. It's so close. <laughs> and here is the completed look. I am very very happy the way it came out. Kind of just sat down, didn't know what I was going to do. I knew I wanted to use that palette. And this is totally different than anything I would have, ha have expected. And I really like it. It's very, very girly and very pretty. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will have all my social networks in the description box below if you want to follow me on any of those. And again, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please like it. And I will see you in my next tutorial.